so this is a very different panel they are not designers they are not publishers we have one manufacturer here who interacts with everybody in the board game industry okay uh, most of them are meetup organizers cafe owners so we want to understand from their perspective why have they chosen board games and things like that right so starting with i want to start off with rachna first please introduce yourself rachna tell us about your business and when you got into it and why board games uh, uh, hi everyone good evening my name is rachna uh, i am from board for board cafe we have two outlets right now one in basvangudi and one in rr nagar right about uh, 1.2 kilometers from here and uh, to be very honest this whole board gaming concept when we opened as a cafe was very new to us because uh, when we opened and you know we did a lot of research into uh, bringing in the games to the cafe and uh, we had a lot of people who said oh who will pay to play monopoly and uno you know that was like such a cliched uh, statement and we were like no there's so much more to it and uh, you know and then as days you know came in and we were like okay now they're doing better so now we have people who directly they come and ask us i want to play ku i want to play love letter and okay that's some progress so we're at that uh, stage of the business right now and hopefully some day people will come and say i want to play zolkin i want to play tikal so we're aiming for that so hopefully okay she's being extremely modest and not talking anything about the cuisine and the food and most most important thing uh, which i don't want to miss is every room in their cafe is themed okay so the new board game cafe the b4b in rr nagar you open a door you will be transported into egypt there's another one you open the door you're transported into a water it's an aqua themed and uh, the there's other a boat on the roof that's how i tempted my son <laughs> to come there <laughs> cool and and the other place has a horror themed room uh, keeping in mind uh, things like uh, dungeons and dragons or arkham horror and things like that we our chairs are even batman shaped keeping arkham horror in mind and you should and definitely check out the theme. wallpapers right yeah <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so try out the food we have been uh, eating uh, their food from the last two days and it's just amazing we have another board game cafe which just opened up recently in tumkur uh, it's called game bites uh, we're going Super. to catch all of you tomorrow all right so this is just amazing uh, thanks for coming all the way from tumkur um asma Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Asma. Shri Chand and I are both from Reroll uh, Bangalore's board games community. Uh, we've been running since 2016. We are a meetup group, and uh, our mission was just to bring board games to more people. I mean, as we've like had other people say before, uh, nobody really knows what board games are. They think they're for kids. Uh, but we wanted to make it a place where you can come. where you don't need to already know someone who's into the hobby where you don't need to uh, be overly social where you can just have an activity that's a shared activity which takes the pressure off you and you can meet new people you can come alone uh, which is you know one of those really hard things to do when you want to socialize because imagine you move to a new city and you don't know how to make friends this is one of the ways you can you can just turn up to a meet up and we want to be friendly and welcoming enough that people can walk in without anyone with them learn games meet new people make friends have a good time and then come back with hopefully they make some other friends somewhere else as well and bring them back and you know be part of our meetups so we work with cafes uh, so we've had a tie up with uh, various cafes over the years and uh, we started off just as board gamers we met each other at a board game cafe and then we decided to keep going because we met every thursday and that became tabletop thursday for us and now we run this community and we want to you know keep and and we're very really happy when people this is weird we're really happy when people stop coming to our meetups because that means they found people to play games with elsewhere right they found their community they found other people to play with and that's kind of our goal we want you to like you know find your people so that we are the starting point and then from there you go wherever you go you become part of a larger community you ask us about you know simple games at first and then we hear about you playing more and more complex games that's the dream so that's what we would you know what that's what our sort of vision was that we want to be a community that's very welcoming and i think we've been doing this for 7 8 years now this will be the 8th year um and i think we've done managed to do that even during the pandemic we went online 
that felt a little weird because you wanted to get off your screens, you know, to do board games. But um, that's something that we've always enjoyed and that's the part of our ethos. Why are the women so modest today? We have to really thank Reroll because that was the first board game meetup organizer in India, in Bangalore, right? Yeah, uh, there were people who were doing it out of their homes and stuff, but I think we've, we've become, uh, especially I think when it started picking up, that we were the place everyone turned to. Uh, you know, other people who now run meetup groups started with us as well. So we're just very happy to have competitors as well. We're very, very okay with this. I, this I is don't think there's okay. any competitors here because uh, it's such a huge market. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, how, I, in fact, people are asked, why would B4 be open another cafe? Right? Why are people bugging us to open another board games store across the country? Right? So, reroll um, again. She's being extremely modest. Uh, these guys. So, they were the people who actually inspired a big community. They are the first ones to give people the first exposure to board games in Bangalore. Uh, lahe lahe. You know. In fact, many of our games were play tested there initially. Like. Honey Scouts was play tested there probably a, a few years, yeah, few years ago. Long, long ago. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we are really grateful for you guys, especially because of their reroll forum. That forum is so powerful. Whenever we see an order or something, we know from where people have come, right? Suddenly they'll be like reroll, reroll, reroll. And then we'll know that, oh, it's a secret Santa they must have organized. You know, that's how we would recognize. So, yeah. Uh, so, um, I'll just yes. give a little more background in terms of how my own journey has been, right? Um, I was doing my masters, I was studying um, development and every, every, every subject we'd uh, uh, study would be how things have happened and why they failed. And I found everything that I'm learning to be very, very um, hard to digest and sit with. So then I was like, I was cycling quite a bit then and I was like, what do I do where I'm not uh, I'm not feeling um, so bad about life and the world around. Um, and one of the co uh, one of the co-working space that I used to uh, work out of, they had a board. They had a few board games, and I I think that was the first board game I played, and that went for seven and a half hours. And I didn't think about uh, university. I didn't think about interventions, development studies. I know why it went for seven and a half hours. <laughs> So we call him the king of analysis paralysis. If he, he takes a turn, he's like, we can go have tea, coffee, sandwiches, probably take a shower. We put him on a timer. Basically. Oh, you have yeah, a timer? A timer. <laughs> nice. It's called a watch reach and timer. <laughs> Something like 30 that. seconds. In his honor. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I discovered board games that way and then uh, I started playing board games. And then uh, I think it's been a shift in terms of how people approach uh, uh, leisure time because I think for the longest time leisure was not something that was okay for people uh, and me getting people to board games and other experiences were also that leisure is okay and for the for, for you to do things um, and to see people board game uh, play board games discover board games learn buy gift them is a way to kind of cross that bridge individually, right? Of people saying, oh, I need to work, I need to learn, I need to upskill to, this is a different thing, you're, you're in a different world. And yeah, you need to play and play is big. Um, one of the things, the other things, I mean, thanks for talking about Reroll for a bit. Uh, one of the things that I quite, uh, I'm proud of uh, at Reroll is every event we do, it's, I think early on we've made it, uh, we've ensured that it should not become like, uh, alpha players playing and men playing. So if you come to any of our events, you'll, you'll not feel that it is only for like these uh, video game bros who come and now translate it to a physical medium. You'll, f you'll find men, women, you'll find queer folks, you'll find disabled folks. We, f we usually ensure that the places we pick are uh, accessible in all ways. Um, so that's been something that we're quite proud of and so that's why code of conduct is very important for us. Even, even till today, anyone who joins they have to accept the code of conduct. This is the Discord kind of way, even in our WhatsApp group, in our physical It's an events. extremely stringent process. I actually, I thought I, I won't even get into the group. I won't even, the admin won't even let me in. You know, the code of conduct was like, shit, I have to read this. I, I, did you put it together? You're the lawyer in the group, <laughs> right? No, that was Karthik. Okay, Karthik. Karthik, yeah, yeah. yeah, I wish Karthik was here. Out of, Out of town. town. Yeah. So, I want Mr. Anish to talk here. Um, 
he has a board game cafe in chennai and he's come for this cafe uh, this tea talks i think it was a last minute sign up why fomo <laughs> yeah please introduce yourself tell us a bit about your cafe yeah this is uh, anish uh, so i'm from chennai so i come from a d d very different background so i started off with a pc gaming cafe so it's full of like competitive like very hardcore gamers so uh, when i started uh, board games basically i had a collection of like 200 uh, board games i didn't know what to do so i'm like oh fine let me put it in my cafe like let the waiting people play so then uh, people started playing it and start liking it so it's Uh, when i tell people about my cafe it's the opposite like they come in and they ask what's the uh, hardest game what's the longest game that you have which is the most competitive game you have and then they go on to a casual game uh, like uh, because they're tired of playing a heavy game so that's how like uh, my cafe is different from uh, like others but uh, it grew on till like where the people have bought the family along like usually in a a uh, gaming uh, cafe is like family doesn't come so right now uh, like entire family comes where the son uh, goes on to play like video game and the father daughter and and uh, like young kids come and play a board game so that's how it's been like organically growing uh, so then i moved on to uh, do some social deception games along with pvr in uh, in movie theaters like i uh, like organize uh, screenings with anime communities so so it has been in like an organic growth so i would say no i mean uh, anish uh, you know i stumbled upon anish uh, probably what a uh, month uh, i mean a year ago i think right just a year ago so anish suddenly reaches out and says hey dude i want a customized 3d printed trays and uh, blah 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 i don't know he gave me like a huge list i think it was close to some 150 p uh, you know different 3d printed so we actually 3d print accessories for games as well why because we have a 3d printer why not right so um, in fact uh, one of the customers at a store <laughs> has, we were like you know they asked about some game and we said uh, oh this uh, have you played dnd i mean do you know what dnd is He's like yeah drink and drive <laughs> and like that's when we like okay india has a long way to go um so a lot of people might be wondering here these guys are staring at me they like what is he why am i here so first question is for prajwal i mean not even question to prajwal so an interesting story about prajwal okay uh you're 24 so it's very easy because his age and my age are like just uh, mirror images um so basically i met prajwal when he was a kid i think uh he would just come to the manufacturing unit and i'd be like hey yo man what's up and all that just to act cool and this guy like oh, hi sir hi sir and all that so we were hunting down manufacturers so we did not have manufacturers for board games in india okay in fact even now when people reach out to us like hey tell me one manufacturer who makes good board games there's nobody it's even in china there's nobody there's just one point of contact it's called uh, cluster manufacturing right so i failed miserably burnt my fingers burnt around 20 25 lakhs printing games with different manufacturers there were bubbles on the boxes dust on the boxes insects stuck inside the sorry inside stuck inside the glue and stuff um and then a, a customer of ours says hey dude there's just one manufacturer down the road until then i was going to delhi hyderabad uh, everywhere okay pune burnt my fingers big time and i'm he's just down the road like a kilometer down the road right he uh, so his dad in fact uh, it's called manu graphics it was a small building and people you know is like this is the floor and that's the road and that's where games were manufactured okay and until we were, i'm mean, uh, before that they were not making any games so we went there i'm talking to this uh, his father and i'm telling him uh, i need a square box is this thick like uh, you know a lot of people until then were like why okay and then i would be like i wanted to have five you know uh, 2 mm thick board or a 1.5 mm thick board they'd be like why <laughs> and then after that i'll be like i want round tokens rectangular code tokens square tokens they're like ah why <laughs> why am i doing all this what is the necessity of these components 
right? That was the state at which Indians were manufacturing wise. And they were very familiar with shirt boxes, soap boxes. In fact, you might have seen the soap boxes in India are kick ass. Okay? If you go to US, they'll be boring as hell. They look like a medicinal thing. Than the most colorful, shiny, and I can't believe we had to actually throw it away. So two things you learn from that: India has capability for manufacturing amazing packaging stuff. Second, there is, you know, skill. There is technology. There is a infrastructure for this whole thing in India where they made it at a price which is throw away. All right. So I'm there sitting with him. Finally, somebody told me that he's amazing at uh, packaging and all that. In fact, when I entered, I saw one of our games and I'm like, how did he get our game? <laughs> All right? He's apparently got it from somebody, some other manufacturer who has outsourced it, this guy. So I'm sitting there, I'm asking him, sir, I need this, I need this. And while I'm talking, he just whips it out in 10 minutes. Until then, it was a three-month long process. In 10 minutes, under my nose, he makes the box. I'm like, looking at him, I'm like, sir, you're amazing. Now, fast forwarding six years, Four years, I would say, four years, four, five years. Um, it started off with one game of ours called Yuddha Bhumi, which is in the sixth edition right now. Uh, now he manufactures close to 100 games from different, different designers and publishers. In fact, if you come to the board game store or just, <laughs> or even when you come to the uh, stores and the, you know, the libraries, you will see that almost what, I can easily spot around 100 games made by you, right? Starting from for sale, loot, everything. Uh, point salad, right? So, we, in fact, we were experimenting with the card quality, the coating that we need to have. We went mad because people had never heard of these things in India before us, before uh, game, uh, board game manufacturing was a big thing in India. Now, Prajwal has become a brother, literally, and a partner in our business to such an extent, he has become an influencer for us where he has to go to all these cafes. I think he's been to all of your cafes, right? He hasn't been to Reroll maybe, yeah. but he's come to almost all the cafes. He understands uh, the entire ecosystem now. Yeah. Can you please tell us, okay, I think I pretty much uh, gave away most of the stuff, but would you want to introduce yourself? He's just 24 and runs a business which makes tons of money, by the way. <laughs> Hi, I'm Prajwal. So, we are into packaging and manufacturing games as of now. Uh, so, we manufacture 100 plus board games every year and our MOQ starts from 5 numbers to 5 lakh pieces or 10 lakh pieces. Our equipments are... Uh, custom tailored according to that basically to uh, fulfill the end re customer's requirement basically. So we have a process of analyzing the customer's requirement and tending to that basically. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's difficult to manage so many designers or publishers at the same time. So we uh, slowly take orders by orders and complete them process by process basically. So we are in a process to uh, build that to match the China quality but uh, Yet, we are experimenting on many other stuffs, basically. So, to give you, uh, to give you a quick, uh, you know, one small story. So, there was one uh, designer publisher who reached out to him to uh, manufacture the game. Which manufacturer plays the game and gives you feedback? <laughs> he checks out the game, listens to the whole thing, listens, uh, you know, uh, the entire objective, what's the goal of the game, blah, blah, blah. And he says, uh, he asks, so what do you think of the game? He's asking the manufacturer, what do you think of the game, right? He's at that level now, okay? He manufactures like 100 plus games, right? So he's like, yeah, yeah, it will sell very well in the dumb crowd. No filter. <laughs> so he said something, that this will work very well with the dumb crowd. I don't know if it was very innocent or something. That guy went back like two feet, he's like, what? I have sold this game to Reader's Digest. I have sold this game to some crazy place and all that. And this guy just said one word, dumb crowd. And now he's like, sir, uh, Prajwal, now tell me how can I make this game a good game? And he brings out a whole list of everything. This is a designer, this is an artist, this is a guy, this is a consultant, this is a thing. You go to all of these guys, talk to them. Gives a whole list. So now you know where to go. 
if you need you know consulting or feedback on a game he is no filter i am extremely lenient i'll say every game is good okay please tell us yep. introduce us to a whole different world now yeah uh, see i'm vinay i am part of uh, board for board so i handle the experience part of it so board for board it's more like an experience center it's not about food and games people build meaningful conversations over board games first of all thanks to all you designers who conceptualize the games because of that okay this kind of an experience we have seen three generations playing together and the kind of a twinkle in the eyes what they get is like oh it's mind boggling okay it is like priceless so this kind of an experience is what we build uh, here meaningful conversations and because of that okay as on today i think we have crossed more than 80000 times we have played the games per day almost from 40 to 50 times we host the games okay we have a game hosts we understand based on the customer idea and their preferences and they start with something kind of a basic now today as rachna was mentioning right okay they go on a pro level and we also conduct a lot of game nights every saturday starting from 10:30 to early morning 4 pm 4 am okay it goes like game nights where we have scientists coming in we have from the corporate we have from college but it is hand picked okay and uh, we connect them and they have a great time and there is no host at that time so we build we are also part of the game and we enjoy and curate much more interesting uh, concepts and interesting conversations over it yep now what are you up to so uh, one is that okay recently uh, which was totally outreach what happened by the board games is recently we hosted in a marriage where uh, the board game was an ice breaker it was more like a two states coming in okay and uh, they wanted board games as an ice breaker between them so the bride was from which game did you use as an ice breaker <laughs> yeah. the bride was <laughs> the bride was from uh, uh, bangalore and the groom was from chennai okay and there was totally cross culture it was in jw marriott and for us also it was a first time okay and so it was a greater experience we used bride and the groom friends as a competition we used drama troll as a part of it we used quick we had a lot of fun trophies as well yeah so this all helping us to understand customer much more deeper much more better through board games so board games has become a great catalyst for our growth and we are here to support the ecosystem and uh, yeah oh, welcome you all to be a part of uh, board for board come and experience yeah, you it. guys should uh, go check it out i mean i think you should block a table which is the busiest day so that we don't come then at this point of it's time every day is a busy a day for us <laughs> yeah it's very difficult to find a table at their place in fact uh, this new place has a lot more tables i think yeah, at this uh, point of time yes because we're just a month old so this is really interesting to know you know they introduce board games to hundreds and thousands of people in bangalore in during a decade when people in india didn't know what these board games were uh, we have you know people uh, folks here from uh, board for board who not just make amazing food but they realize hey we can have conversations at the table instead of just staring at our mobile phones uh, they you know to add in for that okay people earlier used to come for food today they come only for pure game. board games and uh, yeah they are extremely passionate and devout and they connect on that so the beauty about it is since we have a board game store all of these guys are customers of ours <laughs> so yay uh, but it's very interesting now that board games are being used in events corporate events you know marriages i don't know no we we even <laughs> can't done, imagine no we even done bridal showers and baby showers on board game concepts actually typically when well. we introduce a game to anybody right first question we ask in the store is do you want to hate each other at the end of the game or you want a peaceful ending so some of the couples will have a peaceful ending See, that is the right teach it to identify <laughs> and some people have oh no no we want to fight over a game you like okay right game we'll show them right this is becoming really really interesting we have so many avenues which board games are opening up as a medium you know uh, for communication and things like that all right thank you so much
Um, for coming to tea talks, okay, one second. Oh, Asma, ha Asma and Rachna have something to say. Yeah, Great, um, awesome. I just want to say to you know whoever is in or a part of any board gaming community here, um, who are doing it in different parts of Bangalore, a humble request, like you know, expand our horizons, come be a part with us, so we can all you know introduce this to a bigger audience. So that is something that a person invite to you guys. <laughs> Yeah, we opened during pandemic. When they started, the next moment was COVID. Okay, it was like a powerful pause for them when they started. I heard that story. Uh, but luckily, your uh, they were consistent yeah. and uh, they connected and they were very persistent they to pivoted. the vision. They pivoted, saying, "Hey, yes. let's get on to Zomato and give out food." <laughs> no, actually, at that point of time, I, I'd say the influencers at that point of time they made a very big impact because that was just the in thing then, and a lot of these influencers coming in and reviewing us and putting up reels and stuff. I think that was a great value add yeah. for us. I think that's what is yeah. the re that's the reason why you have traffic almost daily, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yep, ask my want to say something. Uh, yeah, this is actually something that's flown under the radar and I thought this is a good platform to sort of talk about it. Uh, we are also sort of pivoting, um, Karthik and Punjit uh, specifically, uh, we are starting up our own venue uh, where it's not about necessarily being a cafe, it's more about a place where you can… Wow, um, this is news. <laughs> yeah, this, you heard it here first. What? <laughs> Reroll um, has a So this place, is Reroll no? will be part of this, but it's also oh, yeah. bigger than Reroll. It's a venue which uh, where you can come and play D and D. They'll have everything you need. We'll I'll be running jigsaw puzzle events myself, uh, and they have a whole host of things lined up. We're launching in February, and you know we'd love to have all of you come and like you know check the place out. Whoa! <laughs> okay, we have to announce yeah. this on the Meeple chit chat. Yeah, this and will all be in Indra Nagar. Uh, I haven't gotten authorization to make this uh, Who's disclosure gonna yet, it? but. Uh, or? but but you heard it, heard it here first, yeah. Okay. So oh I my. just wanted to make that uh, That's you know great. announcement. So now we have a place to meet you guys at uh, more regularly. Yes, yeah. You'll have some of us there all the time. And uh, great news. Yeah. Thank That's you so much for doing this. Yeah, Anish. Yeah, uh, so I forgot to mention. Like, uh, so recently we had uh, started an initiative where we have invited. Uh, the Indian board game designers. So we were playtesting their games, giving professional feedback. So uh, uh, since our core community is like professional gamers who play the career, so we made them play the board games, like write the feedback and pass it on to the board game designers who ever like approached us. So that's like, been like really helpful. So if anyone like want like uh, professional feedback, like we can uh, give it to you guys. Okay, this is mind-blowing stuff. All right, thank you so much. Uh, I can't believe this. Anyway, <laughs> so this this just shows how it's growing exponentially. Come on, doctors from Tumkur who have set up a board game cafe. Doctors! I'm still not able to wrap my mind around this, okay? Anyway, so uh, tomorrow you get to hear from them. Uh, we have a celebrity here, Miss Asia World. Miss Asia International. Um, she's... a uh, I think she's studying uh, MBBS. Yeah, right. And uh, tomorrow we'll hear a lot more from her as well. A heavy gamer, by the way. Yeah. So thank you so much, everybody. Uh, we end this uh, day today. It actually stretched a bit longer than we expected, but thanks for sticking around. Uh, all of this content is going to be online, so feel free to share it with your friends and family. And first of all, it's amazing you actually came here. Yeah. Thank you so much. Good night. <laughs>